Hello everyone, welcome back to more Let's Play Lorelei! Today we're starting off with Chapter 5, Princess of Maggots. Dun dun dun. Well, here I am. But, what should I do? Follow the Queen's orders? Or maybe, ignore them and help this guy instead? This is all messed up. Let's just look around and see what happens. Alrighty. So, whether we choose to help this guy or do not help this guy makes a very slight difference to the ending. Slight. Not much, but slight. But this time around, we're going to start helping him. So, let's see. Don't want... Do not open the window. Do not bother with the radio because we can't. Very retro. Because look, if, even if we tried with the radio. Nothing's happening. It needs new batteries. And yeah. Don't want to bother with that. There's his little bird. So Al's got a pet bird. Interesting. Uh, not. Don't think we're going to bother. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't think we're going to bother uh, using it because it opens up the cage and we don't want that. It's empty. And as you can tell by the red exclamation point, or exclamation point, by the red lettering, there we go, uh, that usually causes a negative effect, so let us ignore that. Ooh, fridge? No. A princess of maggots doesn't need to eat food. And as you can tell, we can corrupt it, but honestly, let's not. Let's not bother. Alright, let's keep looking around for a hot second. Ooh, what's this? What a beautiful woman. Huh. Wonder who that broad is, but eh, maybe you'll figure it out eventually. I could kill some time on this sofa if I decide not to get in Al's way after all. Alright, I think that's what we're gonna do. Let us for time. Sometimes the best choice is doing nothing at all. Hmm. Now I should probably mention this is my least favorite chapter. Wakey, wakey, Al. For some people, this might remind them of the uh, anxiety and the stress level from the cat lady and that one, one chapter that we had to go through. Uh, it's kind of similar, but not as stressful, in my personal opinion. But I do not like this chapter at all. I just feel like it's just so left field of dealing with a random person's problems. And it has very little to no effect on us. And that's also kind of another thing I do not like about it. But alas, it's part of the story and we must proceed and push through. Especially since we're going through the nice route. The nice route is kind of boring, honestly. <laughs> Welcome to another group meeting. It's good to see you all again. Also, as I'm sure you've noticed, we have a new member with us today. His name is Al. Hi, all. How you doing, mate? Hello. Um, hi. You all right? We're good, Al. And we're very glad you're here. Now I know it's hard to open up to strangers, but remember, we're not here to judge you. We might all come from different backgrounds in life, but in the end, we're here because we have one thing in common. For instance, Robert there is a cab driver. 
was. He's had a drinking problem for most of his adult life. But last year, when he crashed his cab, he realised it is indeed a problem. I nearly killed those kids. I haven't touched a bloody thing since. Then we have Davina. She's a full-time stay-at-home mum of three. Davina drank wine every night, as soon as the kids went to bed. Most nights. Not every night. Now don't be in denial, dear. And Charlie. Where do I even start with you, Charlie? I did it all, boys and girls. Booze, coke, meth, you name it. He's my drug dealer. And, oh, I see Ollie didn't show up today. Again. I just hope he's all right. Doubt it. Yes, well, let me tell you how we do things here, Al. The group will hear you out, then, in turns, will offer advice and support. We'll never think less of you, though. No matter what your addiction made you do. And we'll never talk about it outside of this room. Today you can just listen to us. There's no pressure. But you'll feel better if you share. Will you try? And of course we can uh, be the voice, quote unquote voice, in his little head. So... Why not? See how it goes, my mate. Why not? Just see how it goes. Okay, yeah, I'll talk. Then do the thing, Al. Yeah? The thing? Oh yeah, uh, sorry. My name is Al. And I uh, think I'm an alcoholic. But I don't know for sure. I mean, how can you tell? Everyone drinks. I'm just doing what everyone else is doing. Except... Maybe I've been doing it too much lately. Like, for quite some time actually. Do you feel like it's affected your life in a negative way? Let's see. Sure, but what about all the fun times? No, 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 we'll be nice, we'll be nice. They've all made the same mistakes. They'll understand. Yeah. I've lost something. Someone. Do you want to tell us about this person? This picture we saw earlier of fore foreshadowing? Just tell him to fuck up. This whole thing is ridiculous. Goddamn, Lorelai. You're so mean. You've come this far. Might as well say it out loud. Her name was Kara. She was... Perfect. We were gonna get married. But I fucked it up. What did you do, mate? My boss at work was giving me a lot of shit. So I drank to make myself feel better. But somehow, it wasn't always working. As in, I felt worse instead. But I kept drinking and it made Kara upset. We argued about it every night. Until one time, I'd lost it. And I, uh, hit her. I didn't mean to, but she was right in my face. I just wanted her to shut the hell up. 
turned out she was pregnant. If only I'd known about it. But I hit her so hard, it made a lip pop. And she, she fell, all covered in bloodline. She miscarried later that night and left me the next day. Damn. That's one hell of a punch, Jesus. I guess the falling would have made her have more of a miscarriage than anything. I'll be right with you, mate. Ooh, you sound familiar. Who are you? Hello. How can I help you? Susan! Oh, um, I'll have some batteries and uh, menful Bronsons, please. Yep. Sure. There's batteries. And... Susan Ashworth, then everybody. It's Susan. I'm new. She's back. It's okay. Nice cat. Oh, she wandered in last week, and I let her stay. As long as she doesn't touch the donuts and wears the jumper, of course. Hmm. Sounds fair. I mean, at least she won't get killed. Sure, but I can't have any. I've got a blackbird at home. So basically, cat food in a cage. Birds, feathery flying things. I never really got that. You like the creepy furry things. Does that mean we can't get on? Well, you're the bird man and I am the cat lady. So you and me, in fact, should be mortal enemies. Or could we form a powerful alliance instead? <laughs> Maybe. But, you know, it's not always wise to trust a cat. I'd risk it. What have I got to lose? Birds are alright, I suppose. Except crows. <laughs> Can't imagine why. Oh, there they are. Bronson's menthol. Twenties? Yes, please. Hey, I'm Al, by the way. So I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. If I smoke all my Bronson's and need another pack. See you tomorrow, Al. Oh, that was a nice little exchange. And you could have uh, broken one of the wines and actually gotten a different dialogue and a couple new things. But I tend to like that one the most. So if we wanted to, we can actually add the batteries and put it in the radio and give them a very rude awakening. But I'm not going to bother with that, because, again, why bother? Anything over here? No. Okay. Well, time for us to sit back on the couch and watch TV. Or fast forward time, whichever we decide to do. But yeah, Kara, that was his girlfriend. Fiance, excuse me. But alcohol, man. Alcohol is a powerful drug. Can do strange I think things it's his to day us. off. He might as well get some good sleep. Hello? What? 
But I'm off today. No, I didn't change the rotor. I don't know who did. Did you ask Phil? He did? <sighs> yeah, I know what Mr. B's like. Fine. Give me 20 minutes. I'll come in. Ugh! Reminds me of the days back in my old job. Or at least a couple of them. Hey, we know it's your day off, but I need to be... We need you to come in in like 10 minutes. Can make sure your ass is in here, otherwise you're gonna get fired. <sighs> Work sometimes. Work. How long has he been staring at it? Red wine. I see. Mmm. Red wine. Be stew. Mmm. And I can see the attempt temptation though. Hey, there's what's her face with her cigarette. All right, Al, don't worry, you can do this. You got this, buddy. Just pick it up and walk away. That's all you need to do. What do you want? I bet he's stealing Sherry again. Do you think the lock's still busted? I mean, if a draft was to push that door, it wouldn't be anything to do with us, right? Hey, who's done that? Oh boy. Just let me out, will ya? Pair of young ladies back to their old tricks again. And you know what? I'm tired of this shit! Shit isn't funny! It's a beautiful day. But I can easily change that. Right. By the power of Ra! Make this shit rain! Bloody hell, Nisha! What a shame about your cool mobile. Getting fucked by the rain. Tee hee. Where are you going? Uh, I don't think I'm ready to see a naked man in the bathtub. Oh shit. I guess we have to. Oh, thank god he's submerged already. I suppose a nice hot bath is what he needs after a day like this. Let's wait. I think he's about to fall asleep. Not exactly the wisest idea to fall asleep in the bathtub, but okay. Oh, 
it's a nice dream now. But shall we make it a little more interesting? <laughs> Let's add sharks into the picture. remember the sequence to this so give me a minute if I uh, miss me mess something up here Yep, that's definitely a mess up. Okay, I'm gonna reload that. Hold on one second. Alright. I don't think I've ever chosen this option before, so... Huh, that's interesting. I think I've always gone with a shark, because it's obvious, obviously, the bad one. It's not too hard to figure out, but this one I didn't pay that much attention to. But I suppose this is the correct one for the good path. So let's choose that one. Land ho! Hold? Um, okay. If you say so. Oh, hey, you. You all right? Um, yes. You? We need to talk, Lorelai. Okay. Follow me. All right, Jimmy the Traveler, what do you have to say about all this? So, you're working for the Queen of Maggots now? Toying with people's lives? Killing parasites. Okay, I'm not Susan Ashton. So, first of all, I'm trying to help this guy. Have you not been paying attention? I'm actually trying to help this guy. I'm doing it, Jimmy. I really am. So far, zero fails. Zero fails? That's awesome. Ignore but the reload. Careful. It's not over yet. So keep your guard up. Al's life is in your hands. That's what frightens me most, Jimmy. What about the real Queen of Maggots? How did it go in the tunnel? Well, <laughs> now that you uh, mention it... Well... I'm guessing you already know that I did not manage to kill her. We wouldn't still be here if she was dead, would we? But what went wrong? Ah, uh, we don't get that complaint. I did start off with that complaint in my other run, or test run, to make sure everything was working right. And, uh, I guess it goes away if you choose a second option, but eh, that's fine. Not gonna be around the bush. Operation Tunnel was a complete fuck-up. Sorry, mate. I had no choice but to waste the bomb on blowing up a wall. But you did find the monster, right? 
Yes, but without your bomb, my only option would have been to beat it with the stick. <laughs> and I didn't even have a stick. Did you have a spoon? I'm sorry, Lorelei. I should have prepared better. Yeah, but now that I've seen that thing, I agree. We must destroy it. I'm glad you think so too. That monster was huge. Are you even sure the bomb would kill it? No, of course I'm not. But unless we find a rocket launcher, we are kind of short on options here. Anyway, it seems to be weak to fire. And I'm pretty sure that oily pool it's sitting in would burn like a torch, too. Sounds like you need to make more bombs. I'll figure something out. But I need you to promise me something. Uh, okay, but better not be too difficult, okay? Gotta be easy peasy. Alright, what is it? If you manage to find a way out and survive this, when you're back in the real world, go to 12 Helen Road. There is a spare key in the plant pot right outside flat three. Find me. And wake me up. Wake me up inside. Call my name and save me from the dark. <laughs> has been a difficult week. The kids are doing my head in. I mean, sometimes. Sometimes I feel like I could just strangle them so they would shut up. But I won't, obviously. They're my kids. I love them so much. But every time they spill stuff on the floor, and every time they scream their little heads off or fight about some stupid toy, I start thinking about it. It's always there, you know? And yeah, that's just how it is sometimes. You just love your little a-holes. You know they're destructive little fuckers, but deep down you love them to bits and do, they do anything for them. But that's just how it is. So, let's encourage her. She's trying. That's hey, you acknowledge the problem. You're trying to like not go back to your old ways. You know, it's worth mentioning of good efforts. Why don't you encourage her in her efforts? She just needs a bit of support. I don't have kids, so I don't really know what that's like. But you know, for some reason, I remember something Bill Murray once said in a movie. I think it was lost in translation. Yeah, well, he basically said, it's true that kids are hard, but they grow up to be the most delightful people you will ever meet in your life. So what I'm trying to say is, be strong. Being a mum's never easy. But in the end, You'll know it was all worth it. I saw that film. I don't remember that line, but I sure remember him drinking a lot of whiskey. <laughs> ah, whiskey. We were the best of friends once. <laughs> nice. Yeah, like I said, if you go through the bad route, you go through a lot of items and, you know, do a lot of shit around the area, but if you try to be nice, nothing nothing really goes on other than just p people talking for the most part. Which is why I kind of find this kind of boring.
And uh, we can watch TV, but we can change it to a channel that might that will make him upset. So let's four time. Let's just chill and watch TV for a bit. Let's just chill and watch TV for a bit. Oh, okay. Never mind. Fine. We we have to fucking watch TV. Fuck you, man. All right. What are we watching, mate? Is this? It's a zombie movie, that's for sure. Is it the Night of the Living Dead? Like the really old one? Shame there's no sound, but again, I'm pretty sure that's due to copyright issues. Speaking of, I should probably switch it to something else. Hey, this is the show the old folks home was watching. <laughs> Some people rocking out in the band. Uh, skip that, we don't want to watch that. Stupid. Stupid commercials. Nobody gives a shit. It's all about this stuff. Yeah, this is so enticing. The best. It can't be this one, can it? No, it can't be. It can't be. Is it? Well, I probably should have done the good route along with the bad one, too, because I can't remember the good one and what was required of it. For some reason, leave. Uh, okay, the only way we can progress is by watching this, I guess. But I thought this one made it bad. Crazy! It's crazy, man! It's crazy! Oh, uh, just teasing you at this point. Just teasing you. <laughs> like the font for that. Conroy's. Ah, it's so delicious. So yummy. Alright, I guess we have to watch this? No, that wasn't the right one. Then what the hell was I supposed to do right there? I've gotten this all right before, I just don't remember what it was. I, even with that minus one, um, we should still be fine. That seems to take way too long just to watch one thing and then nothing happen. Except for the creamery. Sounds like the postman's arrived. Packages, packages, packages. Anything for us? I think these are about to be delivered as soon as the courier is done with this mobile. Ooh, one is indeed to Al. And the finest selection of larger and bitter lager and bitter right to your doorstep. Eh, we don't need that shit. The writing on the large parcel says. The finest selection of lager and bitter, right to your doorstep. And we don't need that shit. That's disgusting. And of course, we could switch the uh, name addresses with each other, and that would upset Al. And also, we'd be missing a pretty important cutscene. So let's not bother with that. Let's let the postman do his thing. Dear Al, 
I've decided to write this letter because uh, we never really had a chance to say goodbye. Janice told me you'd given up the drink. I couldn't believe it at first. Then I heard about the group therapy, and yeah, it looks like you finally admitted that you have a problem. I'm impressed, Al. But it's too late. This wound is never gonna heal. I hated you for so long. I wouldn't know how to love you now. Now, after all this time, I understand you never wanted to hurt me. You were ill. I can never forgive you for what you did. And yet, I hope you can still turn your life around and be the good man you once were. Goodbye, Al. And good luck. So that's nice. Saying that you were never getting back together, but you know what? I do wish you the best of luck in life. Kitty. Looks like it wants to murder you. <laughs> I'm gonna choose that one, mate. Don't choose it! It wants to murder you! Just look into its eyes! You can tell it wants to murder you! And a creepy ass grin. Alright, so that was the good ending to the uh, fifth chapter, The Princess of Maggots. Not a lot really happening, like I said, very little gameplay. But here's the bad ending in case you decide to actually do some gameplay and fuck Al's life over. Inside my head just to get away Run into the river's end Just to sink down into the ocean sand Where I am now When I need you so bad Crawl, always guiding 